I'm calling this video a truthful prejudice. So I know no one's going to see it because it's vague as shit and people don't like vague titles. Unless they're looking for something that's alluring and they don't really know what they want. But for people that are searching for practical videos, you're not going to find this. You're not going to bother to look at it. And that's alright. I could lose 12 more subscribers and I'll still be Gucci boy. I noticed that people on the left with a social justice perspective, whether it's the gay issue or the race issue, they like to act like caricatures of their oppressor. For example, LGBT activists use the same rhetoric that they frame Christians, their caricature of Christians is having, for example, they always say that you're a bad person for not agreeing with their perspective, their LGBT perspective, and that the only way for you not to be a bad person anymore, the only way for you to be absolved of this sin, although they don't call it a sin, and really, bad person, sin, not the same thing. A lot of pe these people don't know what sin is, which is part of their confusion, the whole Christian identity and Christian traditionalist issue. So they just think that Christians are calling them bad people. But anyway, going to the main point, the main example I'm using, they use this rhetoric and say, okay, you're a bad person, and the only way for you to be absolved of this sin is to surrender and join our cause. And you can do it any time. They always do this BS. Anytime I see a Huffington Post article, it's always the same. God, the Facebook profile, I wonder what, if that's still there, but that annoying piece of shit profile, that uses the same rhetoric. They always try to sound like their own caricature of what evil Christians are. And it's brilliant. Same thing with people on the race issue. Black people, Native Americans, Hispanics, they always pretend to be the character of their imaginary white oppressors. They always pretend that. They always pretend there's some BS, Django Unchained, Leonardo DiCaprio movie character. And it never makes sense. They try to act like they're the ones that are hateful of a race and that they're whipping slaves and lower plebs. We're doing whatever it is that they felt that happened a long time ago that made them oppress. And these people are buying into historical narratives made by, guess what, whites and Jews. Which showcases that they're naive morons that buy into the hype and... They psychologically compensate for something by pretending to be their enemies. Things that they hate the most. We become what we hate most and when we realize this, we really hate it. But no one wants to feel like they're becoming their innermost existential enemy. That's what 
lefties do all the time, specifically the social justice kind, and even more so the LGBT kind than the racial kind, and that's a truthful prejudice. But whatever. I need a... It's been almost a fucking year and I don't have a new battery for this. If I'm still making videos on my bed like this with no proper lighting, then something is fucking wrong. Anyways, this is Mr. Walker 7 and suck my dick.